हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर फोर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ आ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय फैक्ट्राइजेशन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ आ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर नाउ देयर आर सर्टन स्टेप्स टू सॉल्व अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इक्वल्स टू जीरो बाय कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड नाउ स्टेप वन डिवाइड ऑल टर्म्स बाय ए नाउ व्हाट इज ए हियर ए इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू we have to divide this equation by the coefficient of x square so what will be obtain we get x square plus b by a x plus c by a equals to 0 step 2 move the number term c by a to the right side of the equation so what will we get we get x square plus p by ax is equal to minus c by a since it is positive here and when we will move this term to the right hand side it will become negative now step 3 complete the square on the left side of the equation now as we have obtained the equation in step 2 as x square plus b by ax equals to minus c by a now what we need to do we have to complete the this the square on the left side of the equation and balance this by adding the same value to the right hand side of the equation so how we will complete this equation we will consider the coefficient of x here we have b by a as the coefficient of x divide this by 2 so what will you get you get b by 2a now you can add the square of this to the right hand side and to the left hand side as well so what will you get you will get x square plus b by ax plus b by 2a whole square is equal to minus c by a plus b by 2a whole square so we will get this in step 3 okay we know have something that looks like now it will look like as x plus p whole square is equal to q which can be solved rather easily now what will we do in step 4 take the square root on both sides of the equation as you have this kind of an equation by solving this so you can take out the square root of this equation in step 5 what will you do subtract the number that remains on the left side of the equation to find x so we can easily find out the value of the variable x here so let us understand it more easily by solving some examples now example 1 we have an equation x square plus 4x plus 1 equals to 0 now first you need to write down what is a here what is b and what is c now we have here a as 1 a is what coefficient of x square what is b b is coefficient of x so it is 4 and what is coefficient or you can say the constant term which is c is 1 now as you can see here the value of a is 1 so what will we do in step a step 
can be skipped in this example since the coefficient of x square is 1. So, when you will divide this equation by the coefficient of x square, you will get this only. So, you can skip the step 1. In step 2, what you will do? Move the number term. What is the number term here? What is c? c is 1. So, you have to move the number term to the right hand side of the equation. Since here 1 is positive. So, when you will move 1 to the right hand side, what will you get? Minus 1. Now, step 3. What we have to do in step 3? Complete the square on the left side of the equation and balance this by adding the same number to the right hand side. So, you have to consider the coefficient of x here. What is the coefficient of x? Means what is b? b is 4 or you can say what is b by a? b by a is also 4. So, what we have done in that step? We have divided this by 2. So, what will you get? 4 by 2, you will get 2. So, 2 square is what? 4. You have to add 4 to the both sides. So, you will get x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to minus 1 plus 4. So, can, so that we can balance this equation. So, what will you get here? See, x square plus 2 square plus 2ab which will give you 4x. So, it will become x plus 2 whole square is equal to 3. Now, what will you have to do? In step 4, take the square root on both sides of the equation. So, what will you get? x plus 2. When you will take the square root, you will get x plus 2 whole square is equal to 3. So, after taking the square root, what will you get? x plus 2 equals to plus minus root 3. So, what is the value of root 3? Root 3 is 1.73. So, plus minus 1.73. In step 5, subtract 2 from both sides. This 2, we have to subtract it from both sides. So, you will get x is equal to plus minus 1.73 minus 2. So, you will get minus 3.73 or you will get minus 0 0.27. Let us solve few questions of exercise 4.3. Question 1. Find the roots of the following quadratic equations if they exist by the method of completing the square. Now part 1. 2x square minus 7x plus 3 equals to 0. Solution, we will consider this equation 2x square minus 7x plus 3 equals to 0. Now, what is the value of a here? a is what? Coefficient of x square. So, a is 2. What is b? b is coefficient of x which is minus 7. And what is the value of c? c is 3. So, step 1 is what? We have to divide the equation by the coefficient of x square. As the coefficient of x square is 2, so divide this equation by 2. What will you get? 2x square divided by 2 minus 7x divided by 2 plus 3 divided by 2 equals to 0 divided by 2. So, you will get this as x square minus 7 by 2x plus 3 by 2 equals to 0. Now, what we have to do? We have to transpose c means now c is 3 by 2 to the right hand side of the equation. So, what will you get? x square minus 7x by 2 equals to minus 3 by 2. Now, you have to balance this equation. Consider this. 
means this. What will you do? You have to divide it by 2. So, you will get 7 by 2 divided by 2, you will get 7 by 4. So, square of 7 by 4, add this to the right hand side and to the left hand side to balance this equation. So, you will get x minus 7 by 4 whole square equals to minus 3 by 2 and what is 7 by 4 whole square? It is 49 upon 16. Now, we will solve this equation. So, you will get x minus 7 by 4 whole square as minus 3 into 8 by taking the LCM as 16. First of all, solve the right hand side. So, you will get minus 3 into 8 plus 49 into 1 divided by 16. Again, we will solve this in the next step. So, we will get x minus 7 by 4 whole square is equal to this is what minus 24 plus 49 divided by 16. So, x minus 7 by 4 whole square is equal to 25 upon 16. Now, we have to take the square root of this equation. So, when we will take the square root of this equation, what will we get? We get x minus 7 by 4 equals to plus minus, do not forget to put this sign. This is plus minus square root of 25 upon 16. Now, square root of 25 is what? 5 and square root of 16 is what? 4. So, we get x minus 7 by 4 as plus minus 5 by 4. Now, two cases arise. In first, we will take 5 by 4 as a positive and in case 2, we will take 5 by 4 as negative. So, case 1 when 5 by 4 is positive. So, x minus 7 by 4 is equal to 5 by 4. We will solve this equation. So, we get after solving x is equal to 3. And in the next step, in the next step or we can say in the next case when we, will, when we will take this value as negative. So, we will get x minus 7 by 4 is equal to minus 5 by 4. So, we will solve this and we will get x as 1 by 2. So, hence the required roots are 3 and 1 by 2. Now, next question, question 4. The sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's age in years, 3 years ago and 5 years from now is 1 by 3. Find his present age. So, we need to calculate the present age age of Rahman. So, solution we will consider let the present age of Rahman is x. So, present age is x. 3 years ago Rahman's age was x minus 3 years and 5 years later Rahman's age will be x plus 5 years. So, now according to the condition 1 upon x minus 3 plus 1 upon x plus 5 because we need to take the reciprocals. So, reciprocal of this is what? 1 upon x minus 3 and reciprocal of this is what? 1 upon x plus 5. So, sum of both the reciprocals is what? It is given as 1 by 3. Now, you have to take the LCM of this x minus 3 and x plus 5. You will get the LCM as x plus 5 and x minus 3 only. When you will solve the numerator, you will get x plus 5 plus x minus 3. And in the denominator, you have x plus 5 into x minus 3, which is equal to 1 by 3. Now, you can uh, take out this in the numerator of this. So, you can write this as 3 into x plus 5 plus x minus 3 and this is here in the denominator, it will go here in the numerator. So, you will get x minus 3 into x plus 5. So, we will solve this equation and after solving, we will get a quadratic equation like this, x square minus 4x minus 21 equals to 0. 
Now, as you know how to find the solution of a quadratic equation by factorization, so we will just solve this equation by using the factorization method. So, we will get x square minus 7x plus 3x minus 21 equals to 0. So, you can take out x common here, you will get x minus 7 and from here you can take out 3 as common, you will get x minus 7. As you can see here x minus 7 and I am having here as well x minus 7. So, we can take out x minus 7 as common. So, we will get x minus 7 and x plus 3 equals to 0. After solving for x, how you will solve? You can put this equals to 0 or x plus 3 equals to 0. So, you will get two values of x, 7 and minus 3. Now, the h cannot be negative since we have minus 3 here. So, Rahman, so h cannot be negative. So, we will not consider this value. We will consider 7. So, hence the present age of Rahman is 7 years. Now, next question. Question number 10. An express train takes one hour less than a passenger train to travel distance is what? 132 kilometer between Mysore and Bangalore without taking into consideration the time they stop at intermediate stations. If the average speed of the express train is 11 km per hour more than that of the passenger train, find the average speed of the two trains. So, we need to calculate the average speed of both the trains. So, solution, we will consider the speed of the passenger train as x km per hour. As you can see, if the average speed of the express train is 11 km per hour more than that of the passenger train. If we have considered the speed of the passenger train as x, so what will be the speed of the express train? It will be 11 more than the speed of the passenger train. So, you will get x plus 11 km per hour. So, now distance travel is what? 132 km. So, distance travel is 132 kilometer. Now, time taken by passenger train. How you will calculate the time taken by the passenger train is distance upon speed. Now, we know distance is 132, speed is x. So, you will get 132 divided by x hours. How you will calculate the time taken by the express train? Same, distance upon speed. Distance is same as 132, but now the speed will change. It will be 11 plus x hours. So, we get 132 upon x plus 11 hours. Now, according to the question, 132 upon x speed of the passenger train is equal to 132 upon x plus 11, which is speed of the express train plus 1 because the express train was taking 1 hour less than the passenger train. Now, we have the equation, we have to solve this. So, we will get 132 upon x minus 132 upon x plus 11 is equal to 1. We will take the LCM of this. What will you get? x into x plus 11. So, after solving this equation, we will get 1452 is equal to x into x plus 11. Now, we can solve this equation and get a quadratic equation. So, we will get x square plus 11x minus 100, 1452 is equal to 0. Now, this equation can be solved by using factorization method. So, we will get two numbers which is 44 and minus 33. So, x square plus this can be written as 44x minus 33x minus 1452 equals to 0. So, you can take out x common here. So, we will get x into x plus 44 
and from here you can take out 33 as common. So, you will get 33 x plus 44 equals to 0. Now, in both we have x plus 44. So, we can write this as x minus 33 into x plus 44 equals to 0. So, we can calculate the value of x as 33 and minus 44. Now, speed cannot be negative. So, we have to consider the positive value of x. So, hence the speed of the passenger train is 33 kilometer per hour. Now, how you will calculate the speed of the express train? Simply add 11 in it, you will get 44 kilometer per hour. Now, there are few questions for your homework. First, find the roots of the quadratic equation by the method of completing the square. First one, 2x square plus x minus 4 equals to 0. Second, 2x square plus x plus 4 equals to 0. Second question, Find the roots of the equation 1 upon x plus 4 minus 1 upon x minus 7 equals to 11 upon 30. The value of x can't be minus 4 and 7. Third one, the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. If the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side. Find the sides of the field. Now, let us quickly revise what we have studied today. A quadratic equation can be solved by completing the square. We have to start with a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Then we have to divide this equation by the coefficient of x square which is a. So, we will get x square plus b by a x plus c by a equals to 0. Then we have to put this c by a on the right hand side. So, we will get x square plus b by a x is equal to minus c by a. Now, add b upon 2 a whole square to both sides. So, we will get x square plus b by a x plus b upon 2 a whole square which is equal to minus c by a plus b by 2a whole square. Now, we have to complete the square. So, we will get x plus b by 2a whole square, which is equal to minus c by a plus b by 2a whole square, which was of the form x plus b whole square is equal to q. Now, bring everything back. So, to the left hand side, we will get x plus b by 2a whole square this will become positive, this will become negative. Now, to the original multiple a of x square, we will get a into x plus b by 2a whole square plus c minus b square upon 4a equals to 0. So, and after solving this, we will get the value of the variable x. So, I hope you have understood how to find out the solution of a quadratic equation by completing the square method. Thank you.